You can find on our page many examples and um, examples to see how you get started and what is possible. The code is on GitHub. And with uh, the integration of React, we have a um, modular-based component framework. And um, yeah, we can, uh, it's a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. So you have, for example, divs or text fields or buttons that you can integrate. And as we want to talk about maps, you can also cre create um, map elements or uh, map uh, associated elements like layers or tools. And um, so we provide a catalog of React components for working with, with maps. And um, yeah, the ge geospatial component, as co you can see here on the slides, um, it's provided via Map Libre with all its um, great um, functionality that it brings to you. And alternatively, you could also use a different um, map library, like for example, Open Layers. And now Hannes will tell you more about the solutions. Test, test. Yes, that looks nice. Right, we have some examples. Um, you can also find them on the website. For example, we have a, a small web GIS standard stuff like uh, different WMS layers and so on, and they all React components, so they all interact with a, with a shared state. Um, yeah, web GIS is always interesting, but also kind of standard stuff. Let's look up some, add some more examples. We built some dashboard from internal event. Um, you can see there's a map libre map in the center with some GeoJSON layers. We have some diagram at the bottom and some things to click on on the sides. And it's all React components, so it all shares the state. We can click on some one thing, and the other elements will react to that um, shared state. And for example, you see here the map updates uh, to, the, to the time series. And if I click on the right side, it also shows then some root of a person, for example, on the map interactively. The dashboard was a mixture of React components. This here is just one component, a magnifier, we call it. We have two map layers, a WMS layer, for example, and a vector tiles layer. And there's a glass to look through it, and you can see the, the uh, state is shared, so we see the same area, even in 3D, if we rotate the map. If you know React, you might know these storyboards, so there's lots of components for React, right? We have some standard GeoJSON layers, we have different kind of um, other components like markers and measure tools, and in the storyboard you can look at our components, you can try them, and you can reuse them for your own purposes. Here you see, for example, a GeoJSON layer where you just change the paint type and map components will, for you, reload that layer and do everything in the background that's needed for lab li map libre. Uh, yeah, let's skip that quickly. It's very active. We are starting to use it. Um, we're using TypeScript now, and we will look at server-side components in the future. Um, basically, it's a young project for us, and we're starting out, and we are very interested to get your feedback or ideas. So look at a catalog of React components. Maybe you also uh, used React already. You wrote your own map components. Um, maybe ours are more useful to you. We hope so. So yeah, play around. There's a play box in the bottom. Thank you. <laughs>